Deadly violence unfolds in the parking lot of Grant Union High School while teenagers play football in the stadium last Friday night. A gunman shot and killed a 24-year-old man and left bullet holes in a car. It happened during a kid's sporting event. Not saying it's any better anywhere else, but there are children that are families that are there. This parent of an athlete was at the game and she asked us to disguise her identity. She says no official or anyone from law enforcement alerted them to the danger. She found out about the violence on social media long after the game ended. And I had no idea. I was there, but I heard nothing. No commotion, no nothing, nothing was going on. And part of that's just the communication platforms. There's a lot of different organizations and entities that were involved in the incident last Friday night. Twin Rivers Unified School District Police Chief David Lugo tells me they made the community aware as soon as they could. We want to make sure that we have one sound message that's being, being uh, uh, delivered to not just the, the students and staff, but also to the community as a whole. Lugo says even though the violence happened in the parking lot, the district is adding security measures in the stadium. More officers, including Sacramento police, will be on campus. Officers will use a metal detector wand and search bags of spectators entering the stadium. No backpacks will be allowed, and if fans leave the stadium, they can't return. In law enforcement, we want to prepare for any option that may, may present itself at any venue, at any event, um, specific to, to one, one school or one uh, event in a parking lot or to a uh, local street, you know, uh, an incident that occurs in a neighborhood. We want to do our best to prepare for, for all events. This is a sporting event and there are families and children there and the children need to know that the community cares about them. In Del Paso Heights, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. And the chief says that for now they're using the security wands, but we'll be moving to the walkthrough type metal detectors like the ones you see at the airport or at Golden One Center. He also says that it is not limited to just Grant High School. They'll be adding these types of security measures throughout the district.